Ooh, oh my. <laughs> Ooh, I want to start early. I want to get this. I've been kind of addicted to another game, so I kind of want to go back to that one, but uh, I know. I need to take a bit of a rest. Also, this one failed two days ago, and my computer went to blue screen mode and freaked out. I need to recalibrate this again. Hopefully it doesn't break like it did last time. Ooh. I'm less, uh, serious for this one, probably, because, uh, one, I haven't really slept, because I've been playing, uh, been playing The Sims 4 all night. God, those toddlers are fucking adorable. I'm glad they added that. <laughs> it could have been easily a DLC, because, you know, EA, but, uh, no, it's, it's fucking worth it. Okay, so I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm already noticing the same problems I kind of had last time, but I'm pretty sure that's a problem I'm going to get regardless. Um, so I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem again. <laughs> I hope I'm not just going to blue screen again. If I blue screen again, then it might just be a problem with... It might be just a problem with Train Simulator, or it might be a problem with Face Rig, or XSplit. Because last time I did reinstall some stuff, and whenever, and whenever I reinstall certain kind of software and drivers and stuff like that, if you don't restart it, even if it doesn't prompt you to, it will fucking blue screen inevitably. And I didn't take heed to the uh, abnormal, like, shit happening on my computer. But I think abnormal is pretty. is normal for my computer. It likes to be as weird as it wants. I think once that CSX hopefully passes, my frames are going to be absolute shit. <laughs> I don't know why they've been shit. So, I mean, I think I might know why. I might have a reason. Which I can probably change. To help. But, uh, yeah, I'll try what I can. The CSX train seems to be like the model for it. It's a, it's a pretty good looking model, I'd have to say. You know, it doesn't look like it was just made out of, made in fucking MS Paint kind of textures, you know, kind of, and made by a two year old in some sort of 3D modeling software. But, uh, you know, for some reason, whenever I drive, I'll go buy one. Within a certain range, it will just completely throw my frames, but. Uh, not, uh, you know, not optimized game, plus you know, fucking graphics card from I don't even remember when, um, I mean it's a 760, but at least by today's standards, that's a bit on the edge, I think. Should kick this up a bit, because that noise is annoying. Now, I think as I said before, but I'm gonna delete that, <laughs> I'm gonna delete that kind of broken stream, probably. I just kind of kept it there. So this train... It's one of the trains I have. There's probably two trains I can definitely say have a really good horn. And this is one of them. I love the horn on this train. I, li I like the bell too. Um, I think there's another train that I drove or had driven in uh, on Sh in Sherman Hill. Probably one of the uh, uh, just switcher trains had it with a really good bell. The only thing that this thing is missing, which I seem to, it seems to be in some trains, you know, you just won't, you won't hear any rolling sound, at least from the outside. You heard the engine, and you might hear it go over the tracks or over cro uh, switches and junctions or whatever, as so, but you don't hear the rolling sound, which is a bit. It's a bit kind of freaky. So on this foggy day in Miami, it's not what I think of when I think of Miami. I think of constantly hot, <laughs> never winter, and uh, sunshine and palm trees. <laughs> Just kind of a stereotype. But I guess it is, uh, it's 7 o'clock, I believe, in the morning here, so it's not going to be too beautiful like any. Well, I mean, sometimes it's pretty beautiful for me. 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock. 
It's pretty nice. Okay, so if I remember, let me turn on these the instruments, because it's just to have that light there. Because I cannot use the cab lighting, because it kills my frames. Ugh. My problems. But it's kind of surprising. Um, because this ma uh, this route is very uh, good when it comes to people or anyone that has, you know, not the best computer. You know. So, you know, this I, I guess this this route is very simple because it's very flat. Like I'm pretty sure you like right now I'm on a 0.1% grade, and I think like maybe a 0.6 or 8 might be the most, and that's when you're going across the or going over a bridge. So. This is a very flat map, so there's no, like, mountains in the background. And all there is is just some rectangular buildings and sort of half-assed roads sometimes. But, you know. It's Miami. Everyone wants to go to Miami, right? Okay, let me try to maybe reduce some things here on my, uh, thing, because uh, maybe I don't need to have this. Yeah, I might be slowing down pretty fast. That's fine. Hoping this isn't going to break it, but I feel like it will. <laughs> that I'm scared of. I'm like trying to do two things at once right now. something that doesn't seem to very doesn't seem to apply. It's probably because I have the window reduced and it seems to break the the uh, GUI. Okay, so we're coming up to the first station, the West Palm Beach station, which is one of the which is in the name of the route. It isn't West Palm Beach to blah blah blah. It's just Miami West Palm Beach route. Which I mean, I guess you're I guess you're in the West Palm Beach area. But I don't think you stay in it. But I don't know. I don't know Florida, so I can't really say anything. Yeah, let me close that. So at least it's straight again. Now I like stations like this because it really helps when it comes to uh, when it comes to stopping. There's some stations where the the width of it is uh okay there we go uh or the length of it is exactly the size of the train or maybe the uh, train minus the loco and you know if you don't stop on a if you don't stop on that dime all the doors went open and you know it just doesn't feel right but I mean like some of them I mean it's kind of the same a little bit with the uh, Amtrak one uh, scenarios because but those you only I think you only really need to stop when the normal passenger cars are in front of the station not the sleeper cars I have to say these uh this car design is very uh different oh cool my uh, thing <laughs> see it did do it um I yeah, broke it yeah I'm sure it was that's why I want it uh, thank you <laughs> technical problems Okay. Wait a minute there. Why is it? Oh, I see. For some reason, it duplicated itself. Nice. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty swell. 
Nope, it's still doing it. Oh, great. <laughs> Peace freak is broken. Good. That's what I needed. Um, I'll probably, like, restart that whenever I can kind of just coast. Ugh, I knew changing the uh, graphical settings was going to break it. That's not what I wanted. Not at all. Oh, here comes the here comes the Amtrak train. What's funny is I don't even think I really changed the settings at all. I just, uh, I changed them and then I changed them back. Okay. That is bizarre. proper sequence, but I didn't have time for that. Maybe when I'm not busy. <laughs> I'm supposed to be driving a train. It's like, ah, I'm doing something else in the background. I'm trying to get things not broken. This is what I get for changing the settings. How dare I customize my s my settings to what I want? Oh, jolly me! Now that's not working right. This is where I'm like a run into a. problems. Okay, so I got that fixed. Okay, I think it was I turn on, I think I accidentally turned on simple post processing and that's to like make it so the GUI would stay on. I got that fixed. You never know what's gonna fuck. You never know what's gonna break. You, you, you can't really predict it, and you, and you only can do as much as you can, especially when you uh, do it at home. I hear the rails just irking, irking my ears. Like I was gonna say, please make it stop. Why do you always do that? Yeah, go like that. Okay, so that was bad. Okay, so now I should have to be more focused. Guess I'm gonna go up to sixty. 
one of the... Oh, is that just a plane? It goes 60, and then it goes to the Lake Ward station where you're gonna have to slow down. It does. There's no 20 before it or anything like that, like in the West Palm. It's where you have control. <laughs> you're gonna stop. And I don't really have too much. Um, I'm not really uh, good at when it comes to stopping. Oh, so in certain stations. Whenever it gives me plenty of room, oh, I'm, I'm good, you know, it's, it's whenever. Whenever it's like, stop, you know, exact. Uh, there might be a stop and then like, I'll slowly pull forwards. <laughs> Therefore, we're just wasting time. Surpri I mean, kind of surprised there's not like an option to make it so you have to stop at a station perfectly where all cars must meet up at the station. Or must line up with the station, or else you get like driver quality deduction. At least for career standard, I wouldn't really, you wouldn't give any fucks. Just be, I drive how I want. It's my train. Oh, excuse me. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need. Except railroads, but then shut up. Gotta love <laughs> the highlight of Florida. The fucking, the fucking highways. Ooh. It kind of, it just irks me a little just to know that they need this many lanes. It's like between like the 20 and 30, like 37, I think, range of throttle. I think it's like, you know, notch two or three. The, uh, the engine just is kind of gets into your head. But don't worry, the horn sounds fantastic. So, the floor, this Florida route is like the first, and I mean, I think it might be the only route that I have that actually will have silent, or like, you know, silent whistle boards, or no, but no horns, or blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. Which makes sense, especially for a city. But, uh, yeah, like, I, I never came across that. I just saw the circle with the crossed out W, and I'm like, oh. I know what that means, but I haven't seen that before. And then also it has the, uh, has multiple crossings, which I think there are some boards that will actually number how many crossings you're supposed to be passing in a certain amount of area, if they're that close to each other. But these just have an X, so it's just like, you know, there's multiple, there could be Two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe a million. It doesn't. I don't know. Okay, so we're coming up to Lake Worth Trek One, or just Lake Worth Station. I'm gonna see if I can maybe use a little bit of the dynamic brake to slow me down just a tad bit, but I can already see it within my fucking view, so <laughs> it's a little too late. So I'll throw on the brake just to help. Especially in the fog, I can see it, so that says something. I'm pretty sure the crossing is after the station, but that's what I'm going to do. It. Oh, 
I want to go too slow because I don't want to be. I'm gonna be fucking tiptoeing into the station, but I want to be able to pull on the station and stop nice. I think anything below 25 might be a bit tiptoey. Oh wait, nope, there's right there. Who needs who needs horns? Am I right? <laughs> Save lives. What? Okay, so let's see if I can at least. Oop. I hate whenever the emergency brake does not have a notch before you hit it, so you just slam on the emergency. I might have stopped it way too early. The emergency brake might have not helped. Yeah, the, the last car can just hold their horsies. They don't. They don't need to get out, right? You know, they can just, just walk to the front. They'll just or walk to the car ahead and, you know, it'll be good enough, right? Even though that one doesn't open either, because I'm not perfect on it. I have to say, though, I'm pretty sure this is a fairly, like, this is a normal size, like, this is just a normal size loco. Minus, you know, like, how you'll see with, like, UP, or, like, with other freight, with freight trains, you'll see the sides that have just railings you can walk on them. Here it's all enclosed, but even though it is like that, it just feels very small. I'm pretty sure it hangs over the uh, edges of the track, pretty like pretty much the same. So, yeah, might be like how uh, long it is. It's just kind of messing with me. Nick Worth. Station seems to be a very like busy station. If I gotta wait this long, I don't like have anything in front of me, so like scheduling is not play isn't a problem. Wow, am I almost like? Wait a minute. Oh wait, am I going? Okay, wait, no, I was going the other direction. I'm like, wait a minute, what direction am I going? But then I saw, because the it has a cab in the back. So, threw me off. And away to Boynton Beach. <laughs> I can't I don't know if I pronounced that right, and I probably didn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Big. Oh, is, that, is, that, is that supposed to be a Big Mac? Like, okay. Just, just big. Ten out of ten advertising. Can I say, hands down. Obviously, <laughs> they were very well paid advertisers. It's like, how do we, how do we uh, hit the, the, the trendy demographic? Or how do you know all, all the good stuff? And it's just like. Just right big. Still get it. <laughs> uh, it's just a simple, quick advertisement to put in the scenario. It's just funny nonetheless. In the, uh, in the uh, North Jersey route, uh, they kind of actually have legitimate advertising. Like, I mean, not like, you know, it isn't McDonald's, but like they have the, uh, the NYJ, uh, the, the NY, where to get the Y? Well, no. The NJT Transit website. Wait. The NJT website. Sorry. <laughs> At Transit. In the North Jersey Transit Transit. <laughs> Uh, but no, they actually have like, uh, they like kind of advertise like, oh, railroad safety, go to, you know, njt.com slash safety or something. It's like, it, I actually went to it and it's a legitimate thing, but, uh, it just kind of goes to their website. So, yeah. But it's closest to advertising we've seen. I mean, in the, uh, the Woodhead route, there is advertisement there for fucking soap. 
and gum. Fascinating. Actually, it's probably better than that ever that advertisement. Big, the hamburger. But yeah, that's advertisement. Who cares about that, right? Mm. Got trains to deal with here. I ain't, I ain't a marketing team. Look at that, I can go a nice, smooth 79 miles per hour, because 80 is just too fast. <laughs> I don't know. Like, they must have did, like, all these tests and found out that 80 was just a little too risky, but 79 was just even on street track as I am on now. Just like 80 is pushing it, but 79 is just perfect. Okay, Florida, whatever you say. I mean, this is faster than you can go on the fucking Sherman Hill route. You can go 70 on that one, maybe. If you're lucky. Hey, trees. Aww. Let's go back to palm trees. Okay, so now we're coming up to Bay... <laughs> I can't pronounce it. It's called Boy Beach. <laughs> it's just Boy Beach. Let's see if I can maybe stop more efficiently this time. Maybe. I'll go with a break for now. Let me see if I can get a little bit more out of the dynamic. Just a smidge, maybe. No. Getting too close. Still riding in really, really fast, so I think I might pass it. Just might. Might. Ah. I still need to get the loco passed, but that's a task. I'm always scared I'm going to hold down the uh, button too long, and it's just going to, you know, fly on the emergency brake. Did I do good? Only one way to find out. Um, no, did not do perfect. I think whatever, like, triggers the doors or allows what doors to o the uh, or what cars to open, I think that the... Uh, triggers or whatever need to be on the doors and not just is each into the car within uh the bounds of the station on the on the mini map it's technically within the bounds but in reality i mean that's pretty fucking that don't actually is the last one no wait, not even the last one actually wait no not even the last two or wait did any of them fucking open wait a minute Oh, no wonder. Wait, oh, they already closed. Oh, I might not be... I might, I might have spent too much time on uh, Sims. <laughs> okay, so I, th I th the first ones were definitely not open, because, yeah. I just didn't want to see them close. And I gotta make sure that these aren't open still, so... I think I'm good. I want to end the game because I accidentally reopened the doors again. So, you know, there's no way in freaking hell we're going to get, like, perfect points, but that's not what I'm going for. I already got that. I already spent all my time doing that. Got ourselves a nice freeway up ahead over here. Seventy, and then go up to seventy-five. 
like I'm pretty sure if it used like Sherman Hills like speed, it would be either like 45, and then if it ever increased differently, it wouldn't. It would just be 70 the whole way. There would be no 75 or 79. Most diamond would probably be 60. Like Sherman Hill. I'm pretty sure the tracks here, there are curves. But I'm pretty sure the tracks here are like, not like squiggly. Like, it, you know, it does have, it's fairly straight. Like, this looks no different than, you know, routes that have electric trains that go down at 160 kilometers. Oh wait, it's gonna go to 79 then. Maybe I can do the bell for the first time. Where's the, where's the crossing at? I don't see it. Did I do it too early? I feel like I did. Excuse me. Oh, was that the crossing? I couldn't tell. Cause it didn't look like a fucking cross You're making me look go like I feel like I'm going insane. I felt stupid. It's like wait a minute, where's the crossing at? It's like oh uh, yeah, I missed it. I, don't think I, did. I think there's like a few crossings that are like that where it, it seems to just kind of be like business kind of like or like when there's just bare track that is supposedly a crossing. I guess like business, all the businesses kind of cross over, kind of look like there. But I mean, I think even they would have like a proper crossing installed. They wouldn't just be trying to cross over bare track. That shit's dangerous. to go to 70. Okay, I thought I saw the bell on. I guess I was just hearing things. Taxi! Call Miami cabs with a Z because that's cool. No, it's not. <laughs> He's ever. There's not even like a fight called 555 555 555 or just, you know, six fives and then cabs. They could have easily done that as a fake advertisement. But no, it's like, hey, call a cab, and it's like, what's the, what's the number for? You're not getting that. Ask a friend. I think it's like the, I think it's just the wheels rolling ac uh, across the tracks. I keep hearing like a, a subtle. And it's kind of getting to me. Maybe the bell sounds so good, it sticks with you. Or it could be doing whatever uh, one of my uh, bullet trains does, which if you do the horn, the sound actually sticks with you. I'm...
Well, I do have a bullet train that does like this weird thing where the horn will still be in the background just a tiny bit and it's, it's freaking annoying because you have to keep honking it until it stops. And, and, it, and it's a bullet train so it has that really high pitched kind of horn for obvious reasons but it is just, mmm, gets to you. So I was like, maybe that same thing has happened to this. No, I just had the bell on the entire time. Could just look down there. Hey! Ugh, me going crazy aside. Hopefully. Just a, just a smidge sleep deprived. Tell Ray Beach. I like how I like how the dynamic break really just kind of holds it back from just speeding away. Am I going to be able to get this one perfect? No, I'm probably not. But maybe. It says it's within bounds, but... That minimap ain't going to be right. Um, no, I do not think. That one is not open. That is open. That one's open, that one's open, and that one is not open. Okay, come on. That one is inside of the... Where are, like, the triggers or the... Where is the coding that tells it when to open the doors if it is within the... Ah! Uh, clearly. It is not done properly. my god, look at that highway. That looks like... Whenever I see this, this reminds me of, like... Uh... Thrillville. Whenever I'd make, uh... Whenever I'd make go-kart tracks, and I'd make them super wide. That's what the highways in Florida is reminding me of. It's oversized roads. looked ridiculous in Thrillville, and it looks ridiculous there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sound my horn for you guys. Why would I? I'll probably never do that. Because I keep forgetting to. So is it, is it with this train? Or no. I know there's one train uh, that has, you can see the reflection, but it looked like they, I'm pretty sure they, uh, no, I don't think it's like this one, um, but I do have a train that they took the reflection, or they took, you know, like, a picture of the 3D model, but they took a picture, I think, where you can see, like, where you can grab the handle at, like, you know, the box where you can actually grab the handle, the part that, or, you know, bit of coding and all that good work that makes the grub handle. You can see it in the reflection. I'm like, good job, guys. <laughs> you messed up. Actually, oh wait, no, I think it is here. Yeah, you can see the white boxes. <laughs> you can see the white boxes. Whenever they model it and all that good stuff. Ugh. And it's not like they can't do that. I because I think I've seen some trains where that has reflection. I don't see that. So why does my mouse keep doing this? It uh keeps just jerking all over the place where the uh, sensitivity just spikes. 
mouse ain't like going bad or some crap. I've had it for a while, so that's isn't too far. I'm not using it so much, it's not it's not a far fetched thought. But I don't really have any other mice. It wasn't bad road. Is that actually a thing? I gotta wonder, is this really a thing where there's a stoplight for a highway? Like, maybe? But that just seems very... Makes no sense. <laughs> it's never gonna move. Okay, how clear this thing is. This is funny. I don't understand why it's there. And I guess I'll never know. Okay, so we're coming up to Boko Raton Beach. I say beach. I thought I was looking at every fucking station was a beach. I'm gonna say it's Boko Raton. Raton. Oh, these names. I'm not used to them. Yeah, there's a there's a there's like a bit of the sound that actually does sound like it's the bell in the background. It's driving me crazy. This is before or after. This is going to be the horn. Oh, that's long. <laughs> Coming in real fast. They're gonna be able to stop. Nope, we ain't gonna be able to lose all that speed. Oh, oh. No, I think the, the first two, one or two cars are not gonna. Oh, nope, maybe three. Wow, I. Never hire me as a, uh, a driver for passenger trains. Just don't. I'm good at just driving in a straight line for hours on end. But, you know, doing stops here and there? No. I'm not in charge of that. <laughs> it's like the, fur the, back the back two cars are allowed to leave this time because I say so. Or at least my driving says so. You know, maybe I should be a passenger and then get the feel. <laughs> Suddenly see, like, it's like, oh, past a you know, full red sing set of signals, and it's like, well, shit. I hate this fogginess. It's just, it's not good. It's not, it doesn't put me in a good mood. Hope in the next one. I mean, it's only part two for the next one, but I really hope that the, uh, the weather is a lot better, more happier, really sunny. It's Florida, for God's sake. That's all I think when I get Florida. So we're gonna come to Deerfield Beach. Then we got. Then we have. Uh, oh, what did I say? Pum. Pompano, Pompano <laughs> Beach. <laughs> and then you got Cypress Creek. It's like so. It's like every every other name is just like impossible for me to say. <laughs> what do we got coming up? We got a, I believe an Amtrak. I want to say it's an Amtrak. Train. Oh, and I am wrong. It's one of me. <laughs> that wasn't weird at all. You don't hear the rolling sound for the fucking first for the loco. It's a bit off putting.
I gotta wonder, do they just, do they make sure trees would be, uh, like, at least, well, it's probably, you know, also IRL, but, like, do they put trees here so you don't see the trains? I mean, I mean as, as a train driver, I would love to see more than house and tree. I guess I'm, guess I'm snaking through the city, that's all I'm really gonna see. This isn't a, this isn't a, this isn't like, you know, beautiful view, this is Sherman Hill, this isn't some other routes that I have, this is just, I mean, you think of Miami, you think of, ah, oh, it's beautiful, only if you're able to get to like, the beach probably, and you know, the, <laughs> all that good area, the outside of Florida, when you're stuck on the rails, you can't go Take it out of the beauty. No, oh, I'm gonna die going 80 miles on a 79. I wonder how, how bad it is living here. Hey, there's some, uh, like, areas of houses that have walls, like, right next to the track, so I feel like that might dampen some sort of noise or at least direct noise so you know you get that but these houses just like nope there's a train like a hundred feet from your house or maybe like 150 though I probably would find it as long as it doesn't shake things around it's my aunt's house and she has a uh, tr uh she has tracks like pretty far actually <laughs> it's, it's a good walk at least for me to get to the tracks and know the entire house will shake so I gotta feel bad for those people that have lived that close to it unless their foundation is purely made of rubber oh I am not supping at Deerfield too busy talking I actually, I shouldn't even have thrown that. Oh, look, and this is even a nice long one, too. It was like, hey, you messed up on the last couple ones. Or at least on the last one, here's a helping hand. Yep. I fucked up. It's like, I'm not allowed to do passenger runs. I'm not allowed to do them. <laughs> sure, you did all the tasks properly. I, I get it. Fucked up, and I gotta wait for the entire train to stop. I don't think the dynamic break gonna do much. Yeah. Nudged it. Maybe in part two, I don't do this. Operational air. You wanna excuse me? What did I do wrong? to go into uh, full forwards and full back. Somebody's alive. Okay, so I got two more before I can not do this. Oops. Grab and go to the next part. Maybe do, maybe do better. That's too ugly for Miami. 
today will slice <laughs> about a 16 lane highway through the city. It's gonna look beautiful. And that's actually just the highway because it's about both sides. It's basically what they are doing. And these people, they are saints. Let's not pass the station and make sure our passengers get off as they are supposed to and not rush it. I'm gonna honk it once because screw that noise. I'm going to pass it again, alright. Oh, and it's a kind of short one too. Cutting it so close. Yeah, that ain't. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure that is not how it would go down, IRL. I mean, maybe if the, you know, train driver is maybe drunk. Do these not have sound? I wonder if that's actually supposed to be like that, like maybe because it's near a uh, near a station, so it doesn't annoy the ever living shit out of people. But annoyance should not overtake safety. And these kind of go by. So in weird. It's like we need, we need, we need a, we need a design for these passenger cars. What do you got? We got a rectangle. And it has angles. Make it. I guess the last track place this part, this terrible run I've done, because I missed one of them, and every other one, I, I'm pretty sure I never landed it perfect, is Cypress Creek. A nice, good four point. So it's not empty anymore. The warehouse is like a zone. Got lines going to them. So 
ourselves a 60. See if I can get away with just using an independent. So I feel like it. Where be that crossing? Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Well, am I like in the industrial area or something? They got a lot of uh, sort of like little uh, spots for them to put their cars and uh, load them up and get picked up. station I might pass the station take that sound and they just make it louder and then you get to notch number three and that's where it sounds like the engine actually kicks in which I probably it might Cypress Creek up ahead, and it's gonna be a s stop to the next scenario. Which, hey, at least I didn't get a blue screen this time. Just a lot of fucking terrible driving. Looks like they did. They didn't even split the lanes up on these, some of these roads they put uh, put in the route. They didn't really like split it. It's just seems like more of a free for all, <laughs> which would not be the best idea. Part two is a little more, more uh, bright and less gloom. Got ourselves a pass and CSS train. A lot goes down these two lines, and it's very, it's pretty cool. That passengers also on the same exact line. But I don't. I actually I think um, normally, I think of, or maybe in Florida, it's passengers during the day and freight during the night. Maybe there's some exceptions once in a while. I think there's actually a scenario where that is an exception. It's like, oh well, you know, it's morning, so you're going to be running freight. Even though it's daytime, just you gotta watch out for, make sure you keep your distance from passenger runs. I, but I can't remember because I don't, I don't really play the Miami route. I don't replay it too often, if at all, because I don't really like it. 
I might like some of the trains themselves, but the scenario is not really. Oh dear, something went wrong. Check your task list. Yeah, I know. I messed up. Don't gotta keep rubbing it in my face. I know I s kept speeding in an emergency break. I know I did terrible. You don't gotta rub it in my face. Uh, just like, I'm gonna go to the second part now. After all that terribleness. No, it still says. Let's see, this one's foggy. This one's at least cloudy and at 748. And not 649. So maybe it's gonna be a little bit brighter. It's getting better all the time, and here comes the sun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so it is... It's more morning and, you know, no freaking t terrible fogginess. So at least it's gonna look nice. Enough. Okay, so... For, okay, so I guess it's not this one. So we're, Oh yeah, we stopped at this one, herp derp. Or at least it's where we should have. I don't recall, but yeah. Let's go off. Another crossing. Swell. Yeah, see, this is what I'd probably be doing the entire time if I focused on doing the horn all the goddamn time. I'm gonna come double on that one. I'm going to pull it for me. Even though that's a perfectly good thing. I'm in the middle of a city, but come on. I'm pretty sure, like, <laughs> a thousand feet over there. I think I just forgot my sequence. Um, anyway, 
I'm pretty sure, like, not that far down, you can still hear me. Actually, it's gonna be questionable because, I mean, I've seen shit where, you know, oh, I had my, he uh, people had their headphones in and they couldn't hear the fucking train. I, 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 I put these, like, really good earbuds in that would cancel out any sound. Sat next to a fucking train as it flew by at like 60. And I felt, I sure as hell felt the fucking rush of wind hit me. And the sound was, well, it was just bearable with those. So, I don't know. Loud music, I guess, just cancels out trains. I was playing the Beatles. I was enjoying myself and I still couldn't fucking, I could still hear the train. This your music is fucking a train remix. I just sounds retarded. I'm sorry, but that just does. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm gonna remix uh, something today. I'm gonna remix train sounds. You're kidding, right? Oh, I hate that! Oh my god. The, the cab is the only thing you can see. The, it's the only thing that's kind of like rendered, so... Early. Um, so the shadow is just a floating train. <laughs> it's just the front of the train. Was it too much to ha at least have the general, like, shape of the rest of the train to be also rendered? I don't think it uses that much to just at least have a box behind us to cave some sort of shadow. But you know. Oh, also, the the wheels aren't there. I think in uh, Sherman Hill, I think there's a couple of scenarios where you can actually see either it's the track or it's like whatever they use to make the train actually simulate being on a track and you can actually see the shadow of it. I don't know, it was weird. Shadow, the, the sh shading and shadows in this game are just, yeah, they're not, they're not, not the prettiest. Not by a fucking long shot. So we're going to Fort Lauderdale Broadward, or Broward. I saw bro, I'm like, wait a minute, Broward. Miami, nice. Wait, there's more. You can't put that small of a text in that font. Expect me to read it. God, this thing would be all horn. Actually, yeah. What's really useful in the uh, in the Amtrak train is it has an automatic sequencer that will actually play out the horn sequence that is supposed to play, and it will just do it with one hit the button. But it's sort of it, it's not as fun to press it. It's if you want to be lazy. Okay, we're coming in Fort Lauderdale at a nice good 35. Seems to be like a medium to large, might be a large, yeah, I think it's a larger um, station, so I might be good with my terrible stopping ability. If it ain't freight, I don't know how to do it. Passenger folk just expect too much from me. I already got negative 150. Where'd I get negative? Uh, where'd I get negative 150 from? This is the first stop. 
guess I was, I mean, it might be from speeding, but that's just a perfect number. Normally I'd be like, negative 162. Some, something, something bizarre. But points don't matter. area feels very familiar so I'm like there's there's a bridge I remember a bridge and I remember I crossed it forty six Using up all the air. Okay, let's see what the grade is on this. The, pretty much the most grade you'll go on this map. Uh, 4.8. Uh, that was one of my kind of rough estimates. Like points, point 0.6 or point 0.8. So it seems to just be a very... I don't know. I think it's the same going down. Where did it not steep at all? It seems, it seems like very good steepness. Roll it down. It should be pretty good. I like how, though, there is a set of track going down, and it goes across this bridge, which I'm... You know, it, it can be raised and such. I don't know, not in the route. I don't think it's been made to do that in the route, but it's one of those kind of bridges, so or I'd assume looks like it. That'd be, it would make no sense for that to be there and for me to go on a bridge then. So. Context clues for the win. Hello, CSX. enough speed real quick like I went up it really slow and then it's like I just build up all my speed going down right at the end of it I did it going faster than you a ho it's like passes I pass the station and I fade no Look at all this Got some overpasses. And a lot of uh, clickety clankety. Why? Why so much? I'm not going over junctions, and that should only that, that will happen like every so often, but not that often. It's every time the track splits. And have to, but uh, unless the uh, map makers. The route makers split the track a bunch there because of the overpasses, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the... I've never gone into the uh, build mode. The only time I did was I built a circle track, and I could not figure out how to connect it <laughs> together. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not a route maker. 
No way in hell could I spend that much time doing stuff like that. I'll drive it, but I won't make it. So going to Fort Lauderdale. Finally made it this one. It's only the second one out of eight. I think with the dynamic brake, I don't have much braking power. Even with the real brakes. It's the combined dynamic and train brake that makes the best brake. Too much brake. Hey guys, I'm gonna tiptoe in here. You just keep drinking your coffee or whatever the hell you were doing. Don't worry, I made it. I'm pretty sure I'm in multiple pieces like I'm supposed to. Who <laughs> didn't leave one behind? I mean, I've had, I've had, <laughs> I've had scenarios, the times where the train will just split randomly for no reason. So it's not a possibility. Also, I stopped instead of letting the other car being pulled in. I'm a freight guy, not a passenger guy. I'm told to stop in a certain amount of area. I'll stop in that certain amount of area. <laughs> I gotta wait. So far, I haven't, like, super passed the station. It might be, like, one car that doesn't really ever get into the station. But I've only done two. So, mistakes will probably be made. More silent whistleboards that I don't need to worry about the damn horn. This might be like the only train I'll... My, maybe the Amtrak one? Maybe the Amtrak train I might do the horn with? Screw the sequencer. The sequencer is a little bit annoying. It goes on for way too freaking long. I don't know when you're supposed to start it. It should match up maybe. I think the other other two trains I have for this route, the horns might not be like the best. At least good enough to actually spend my time. I'm never lost. So quick to the next station. me a short short station coming in at 60 I need to slow the upper living hell down only half a mile away I don't feel like I'm gonna slow down fast enough, so that's what I keep getting worried about. I 
And then I might stop too fast. Which is also sort of a, sort of bad. Not as bad though. Cause I mean, it's not a, it's not a really good day if your uh, train driver has to back up the train to make sure it's aligned properly. You might want to take the next train then. You might die. Okay, so let's see if we can at least get the loco, or at least my my sight out of that. And that might be that might be more gold than I was before. It's like, will you stop? Eh. <laughs> I mean, I I mean, I got I got I got like you know three fourths of it at least. Getting better all the time. It's getting better all the time. So we're like stopping at finally. These names. Got the Metro Rail transfer. Got Opa, Opa, Loka, Laka. <laughs> it's every other freaking name. Got Hollywood. Got the Golden Glades. Got Op Op Opa Loka. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Pretty sure I saw traffic. I think I passed the whistle board. Thankfully, they stopped, I guess, so. Thankfully, it was traffic. Man, those lines just build up. I'm more freight and it's morning. So I'm wondering if that's. If, oh god, what was that? Oh, this is one of the broken crossings where fuck the trains, they'll just drive on through. <laughs> that always kind of scares me because I feel like I'm gonna just wreck somebody's day. Actually, to be honest, well, it could be wrecking my day depending on what happens afterwards. It's an inconvenience and it should not happen. I'm gonna turn that off and it's gonna have another sign of whistle board. God damn it. Hollywood track seems to be like a medium. So the Hollywood truck that actually has, I know I, I took a, a really good picture that I really liked, but I kept the HUD on, so it wasn't a good picture in the end. And I think it might have been here, where I took it, and it looked really good. It had the Amtrak train, you know, the front two locos sitting on the crossing, and then the rest of the cars stop, you know, you know, at the station. It looked really good. The the sun was hitting it ever so right. You know, I looked, it looked fantastic, and I'm like, oh wait. Forgot the HUD was on. Fuck. It ruined it. I would have put that in the uh, slideshow I have, but you know, I had the HUD on, so. Fuck. But I have some pretty good pictures of this train that I kind of like. It's a nice front view, so. I'm not gonna be trying to get that. I might, I might try to get it when I do the Amtrak one, if I remember to. See if I can try to get a new picture. Because I think I, ha I, think I have a, a picture in the slideshow of an Amtrak train, but it might be one that I got from a quick drive. And I try to use uh, pictures I actually get from the scenarios I stream. So, or at least have played. Mostly streamed. 
Hey, motherfuckers, I'm going. One second. Undo this. Golden Glades. I want to say Golden Gate. No, it's the Golden Glades. Or is this like Glades? Sentient. I don't Guys, you don't get a horn. Cause I didn't care. Yeah, okay, also I didn't see the whistleboard. <laughs> I got one. I got one whistleboard. Technically two on each side. Of the, you know, at least on the side of the tracks, but only you know get one. One chance not to screw that up. Let me also get your eyes. You could see the be a thing coming ahead, but. Why would I pay attention when driving a train <laughs> with passengers? I fly planes. I, I mean, it would be flying planes, but I fly planes with my eyes closed, even though it's autopilot most of the time. So I think the, uh, Next scenario, we have to sh shuffle to shuttle or shuttle to shuffle, whichever order that is. I think that one is I actually am trailing behind, I believe it might be like the Miami Silver Line or whatever, Silver Star, that I'll be trailing behind, so it's sort of like you gotta make sure you don't ram the hell out of them, but make sure you don't get behind on schedule kind of stuff. Very typical when it comes to these goddamn passenger runs. I've done these. I've done these plenty of times. So not enough to perfect it. Not by a long shot. I've sure played it so many much. Or it's elegant. If you rode the train, you'd be home by now. Debatable. Probably. Well, actually, I guess because we're in Florida and has all, the, all that traffic, that might be a true thing. Maybe. Nice. Television's so good, it belongs in the 80s. 
Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it. Who watches television anymore? <laughs> the closer we get because of you know, the estimation. Once you get closer, you can really estimate. But I, 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 we, ain't, we ain't getting anywhere on time. I've never seen so much water in this route. I got so reflected, it was just white and it blinded me. I'm gonna have to say, coming from Sherman Hill, I am just blazing on these tracks. Even though I'm only going 79 for American trains, that's a, at least for at least for most American trains. I think pretty much almost all of them. That's some fast speed. stopping it here where it's not it's like a station just kind of placing this, this track not like the proper station it's just a so a rando station for this area I guess but I mean without this it'd just be some more straight track so Last car I do not care for, I guess. It doesn't exist in my mind. station and then 
Hialeah. Hialeah? Market. Fuck this nigga. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> You be uh, station A and station B. Maybe it got more cloudy. Like I, I, I started off and I, I, I know there was some shadows, so there's some sun, but I think it got more cloudy. And it is a cloudy scenario. So. Slowing down in time. That ain't. Too squished, but yeah, it gets does the trick. Kind of, that's kind of what I wanted to go for. I've got one more. Ah, screw you! You don't get one. Last card gets no love. Uh oh. Okay, like the dynamic break sound effect was still like going, so I was like, oh shit, it's not good.
last two. Go to the Metro Transfer Station, and then we're going to Station B. <laughs> kind of cool if there was a, a little bit of like maybe two scenarios, you know, back and forth for the Metro Rail. It is travel on dragon travel back the other direction. And then you start from the other side and do the same thing. There's scenarios like that, so. But then they'd have to make a whole metro train thing and uh they couldn't be fucked to do any of that. Did it start in the middle of the day and then get night or you know sort of late in the day and then go night is that what it did like not 7 48 in the morning but 7 48 in the evening I swear. maybe there's are two parts and normally they don't really if it's another part it might be like maybe an hour or two difference but like not that much Seat or something, you know. You're allowed to go forwards, but you're supposed to go at a certain speed, so. Sort of like, uh, I believe looking yellows, lunars, all that good stuff. Actually, I think blinking yellows is sort of a warning. But they might also. Ugh. American signaling. I want to learn it, but it kills me. This is empty yard. I don't, I don't think a yard would be this empty. There'd at least be a couple cars, maybe some. Well, I don't think they really have. I don't know if they have switchers around here. There'd be something here. There'd at least be a, a lone sitting train waiting for an engineer to get into it. <laughs> They're like, we made the route. You're not fucked to do all the little details like putting trains that aren't just driving by you <laughs> I don't know if in all of these I mean the routes where you do start in the yard you do freight they're they're there there's some there's cars there and there's some maybe some train or two but you know I guess here they're like fucked I'm doing that shit or maybe all the trains that passed us were all the cars that were here and they all just left Still, I feel like there'd still be at least two trains sitting idle, waiting for any sort of use, whether rescue or need to just help or some bring take some freight, get some freight, something. Jeez, I'm picky. Oh, 
40. 40 is such a great speed, am I right? No. It's, it's a good speed, so I probably don't pass the station, but yeah. We got two yellows, and I could have. We're not stopping at Miami's, the Miami station or whatever, or the airport. But I'm pretty sure this area does go, or this line does go to it, and your restricted speed is about 20 around there, so. <sighs> to find out. Passing it, aren't I? Yeah, first car ain't getting nothing. It's it's the first car's turn to get screwed over. And I get to sit in the middle of a, uh, well, not really traffic, cause I'm not there, but yeah. Maybe soon to be traffic, cause I think cars will start pulling up. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so it, was, it looks like the, maybe the first two cars got screwed over. But hey, yeah, I think I got the perfect amount of points you're supposed to get. <laughs> that means I'm doing better. intersections Station, so I guess or not. Wait, there's a there's a twenty up ahead. So maybe there's a station beforehand. That I don't remember before the airport. Here he comes, here comes an Amtrak. I guess here it comes.
kind of always hated how the uh, two front locos are facing forwards instead of one facing forward and one facing backwards. So one they are connected. I best uh, did I did I now did I did I did I did I well shit. Yeah, there was yellow, yellow, there was yellow, red, and I still fucking said, Hey, I'm gonna keep going. So, yeah, that was my fault. But what was in front of me? Anyway, it's gonna, it's gonna be the last one, so. I, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm doing one of those, uh, not mentally ready or mentally sound to be driving a train kind of dealios right now. Worst idea.